was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in the building with another banger, man. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, thank you, God, for another day and opportunity. And, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And let's go ahead and reach 50 likes on today's video. And as y'all can see, by the looks of the title and the screen, today, I am bringing y'all easily the most rare, well-rounded build with contact dunks in all of 2K on current gen. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and give y'all the build name just yet. I want to see if some of you can guess right down below in the comment section. What build am I going to be making? And I'm telling y'all, this build is going to be able to do everything from finishing, shooting, playmaking, as well as even the defense. So we're going to go ahead and get started by making this build out of the point guard position. When it comes down to the pie chart, go ahead and pick the shooting as well as the finishing. Then once it comes down to the physical profile, you have two options. As always, if you want the first one for the maximum speed, go ahead and pick that one. But I'm going to go ahead and pick the fourth one because we get a huge boost put towards our vertical. Now we're all going to be set to go from here. Let's go ahead and get started with what we're going to be able to do on the defensive end. So as you can see, I'm going to max out my defensive rebound, offensive rebound, the block, as well as the steal. Then I'm going to go ahead and max out my lateral quickness, go with the 75 perimeter defense. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my interior defense to a 47. And right there, we're going to be able to get 10 defensive badges. Now, since we are in season eight, consider the extra eight badges that we are able to unlock because of the season that we are in so you have the potential to get 18 defensive badges or as you can see with the playmaking i'm going to go with the pass accuracy of 77 ball handle of an 81 we'll be able to get 20 for the playmaking now once it comes down to the shooting i'm going to go with a mid-range shot of 83 three-pointer of an 81 now if you want to you definitely can make your own adjustments to this build, but I'm going to end it with 12 shooting badges right here as well. If you want to go ahead and max out your free throw and post fade, I get it, but I'm telling y'all, that's going to change the build name from what we're going to be able to get. But as far as when it comes to this build name and what we're able to do on all ends of the floor, and especially with Hell Well Rounded, we're able to make it. I'm telling y'all, this is easily... My favorite build that I am bringing y'all this year, and as you can see right there, when it comes down to the finishing badges, we're going to be able to get 10, and then if you add on the 8, we'll be able to get 18 finishing, 20 shooting, possibly 20 playmaking, or 18 defensive. Now, as we go ahead and get into the breakdown of the height, weight, and wingspan, this is going to play the biggest factor in what we're going to be able to do on this build, but also with the contact dunks. So... As for the body shape, if you want to take up the most space on the defensive end, go with Burley or Built, but for today, I'm going to go with Defined. Now, once it comes down to the height, 6'4 is looking pretty solid, but I'm going to risk being able to be a little bit taller and still able to maintain the pro dribble moves. So I'm going to go with 6'5. We take a minor hit to our physicals, but I'm telling y'all, once we add on the gym rat badge as well, as the ability to hit 99 overall on this build. Everything from there is going to be perfect. And as you can see, with the weight, you can definitely go with the lowest if you want to. Then bring it back up to where it does not affect your speed, acceleration, or your vertical for our physicals. Now, if you want to, you can go with somewhere around the 180 range or just down to the lowest possible. Now, as for the wingspan, this is the most essential part about this build and what's going to allow us to get the pro dribble moves but also unlock the contact dunks at 99 overall and as you can see if you go with the max of 86.0 we'll get an 81 driving dunk meaning at 99 overall we'll be able to unlock all of the contact dunks now if you want to make your own adjustments 
that is perfectly fine but as you can see with our physicals as well we are getting a boost put towards this area so our speed is definitely going to hit the 90s as well as the same for the vertical now if you did go with the very first physical profile the numbers are going to be a little bit different but i'm telling y'all this is going to be a very great build all around and as you can see we get the slashing takeover, shot creating, and the playmaking. So both of these are going to allow us to break ankles. Then we're also to get the lockdown defender takeover. Now I'm going to let y'all know right now. If you guess correctly, the build name is going to be called the Jack of All Trades. So we're able to break ankles on this build, speed boost, get pro dribble moves, as well as contact dunks. And today we decided to unlock and be able to get it as well the lockdown defender takeover and as y'all can see together we have created the jack of all trades with contact dunks now i'm telling y'all this is easily my favorite rare build that i have brought y'all this year i'm gonna go ahead and take you into what this build is gonna be looking like once we hit 99 overall which alone is a plus four put towards our physicals and finishing shooting playmaking and defense but if you're running with teammates that do have on floor general and defensive leader, both on Hall of Fame, as well as by boost yourself, that's a plus 12 when it comes down to our main attributes. But when it comes down to activating that takeover, let's go ahead and take into consideration the plus 12 and then the plus 10. So this is low key, a catfish lockdown defender jack of all trades that is pretty much able to do anything and everything so essentially in takeover we'll be able to get a 99 perimeter defense as well as our lateral quickness but the same is also going to be applied for the steal as well now if you did go with a playmaking takeover essentially you'll be able to get the potential to get to a 99 ball handle with a 99 pass accuracy with the takeover all being taken into consideration with this build now i'm telling y'all these are easily some of the best builds that i have dropped to y'all towards the end of the year and if you have already grinded out season seven to the fullest let me know what level are you right now currently or if you've already completed it and also let me know what do y'all think about all the 2k23 news that we have been hearing and also i'm telling y'all this next year is going to be a great one not only for the rich family but all of us in general i'm going to be playing on current as well as when it comes down to next gen as well but as you can see when it comes down to the defensive setup for the badges i did spread the wealth a little bit going with two gold badges two bronze and then one silver now if you want to go about this differently remember you definitely can do so but let's go ahead and take it into the finishing now right here we got another 10 badges to work with i'm going to go with Hall of Fame Posterizer as well as Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff. Now, when it comes down to the breakdown of the finishing badges, there is definitely one badge that I always love to run because of the animations that it unlocks. That is Fearless Finisher. Now, if you want to, you can spread the wealth a little bit more going with Unstrippable on Bronze. Now, I know Hook Specialist is a very solid badge to go with as well. Another one that I would consider, but from here, let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of what we're going to be able to do with the playmaking badges. So as you can see, to start out, I'm going to go with the most important badge, and that's going to be Handles for Days on Gold. The second one that I really like is going to be Hyper Drive. Now, for the third one that I'm going to tell y'all is the most important, that is going to be not quick first step, but I would go with tight handles. That way you're able to really get the ankle breaking animations out of this build without even being in takeover. Then if you go ahead and add in quick first step, this is only going to make the build that much more better when it comes down to the dribbling. Now, let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of what we're going to be able to do with our shooting badges. So we get a total of 12 here as well, but remember... If you have grinded out each season, we would be able to get at least 20 badges put towards this area. So to start out, I'm going to go with Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter as well as Sniper. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just show y'all a few different suggestions that I would go with when it comes down to spreading the wealth for the shooting badges. I would consider Bronze Corner Specialist, Green Machine as well as Volume Shooter. Then for the final one, you can go with Catch and Shoot if you wanted to, but even having Deadeye on as well, 
on silver at least is the way that I would go about it. If you want to go with the bronze, that is definitely something solid as well. But overall, this is the setup that we're going to be working with. 10 finishing, 12 shooting badges. Then we also get another 12 for the playmaking and to finish it off, 10 defensive. And if you made it to the end, man, thank y'all. And y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to go ahead and hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications so you can be a part of the rich family. Let's reach 50 likes on this video. And if you are here, man, comment down below. Where did y'all tune in from today? I'm coming out of Cali. But, man, with all that being said, thank y'all for your support. Thank you, God, for another day and opportunity. God bless y'all. And Rich, out.